Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles, and welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show, where we cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment, and where we give you guys a fresh perspective on things and how we see them. And in today's episode, the topic is Rachel Nichols finally breaks her silence on her departure from ESPN's NBA shows. So that's the topic I'm going to get into in today's video. But before we get into that, I want you guys to please make sure you go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell to be notified whenever we drop our content. Also, make sure you check out Dreamers Pro Max, an online sports community place you can talk about basketball chat live during games we have that linked in the comment section below anyway let me get into this topic here so espn seems to seems to be mired in drama um for over the past few weeks or months it seems like right it seems to be like a reoccurring thing at the network and i don't know what's really happening there we if we go back to the first kind of big drama that they've had over the last few months you got to think of the maria taylor and rachel nichols kind of um story that happened a few months ago concerning comments that she made in the Orlando bubble when you heard her, mic her microphone wasn't off and we all remember the back and forth there and ultimately we all we all know how that story sort of ended then you can think of the Stephen A. Smith um the Stephen A. Smith drama with the Shea Otani and, and you know mispronouncing Nigerian players names we remember that in the media and the back and forth surrounding that and then just recently we heard the news of Max Kellerman no longer going to be a, a part of the you know ESPN's first takes future he's ultimately going to be moving on to do his doing his own thing I think the network said that they were probably going to end up giving him his own show probably something surrounding boxing or something like that we don't know yet that remains to be seen and now just I think 48 hours ago, 72 hours ago, we heard that ESPN is no longer going to have Rachel Nichols um, on any of their NBA programs. And that took a lot of us by surprise. And we did a live about it. And at the time that the news came out, that information was just fresh. So we had very little information about it. I think we reported it from Sports Journal. Uh, I think a sports journal or something like that dot com. We were able to get the first bit of news around it. We were the first one of the first sports media um companies to report on it at least on youtube and then ultimately some more information came out so just today um while i was surfing the web just doing some research on different um uh, uh, news news items i saw a story sur surrounding this rachel nichols um you know information and actually it looks as if the network has made some comments about their decision to let her go as far as as far as it pertains to the nba shows and she also made some comments so before i go too far what i want to do is read a little bit of what i was able to glean from some of the comments that they made now i'm reading this from cbsnews.com and essentially let me let me just let me just read read to you what they said it's, so it basically says espn is pulling reporter rachel nichols from his nba nba coverage and canceling her show the jump the network confirmed wednesday the decision follows backlash over a leaked comment she made about her former colleague maria taylor we mutually agreed that this approach regarding our nba coverage was best for for all concerned rachel is an excellent uh, reporter host and journalist and we thank her for her many contributions to our nba content said david rob david roberts espn's senior vice president of production nichols commented on the decision on wednesday this is what she said she said got to create a whole show and spend five years hanging out with some of my favorite people talking about one of my favorite things she wrote on Instagram, the jump will, was the jump was never built to last forever, but it sure was fun. And I think she posted more to come. So essentially, it looks as if that this was a decision, obviously by the network, because they're the, they're the head honchos. They're the ones that can make a decision like this. And it looks like, um, you know, it was a decision that they decided to take for a number of different reasons right and it could be a there could be a bunch of reasons why they decided to make such a decision one of them could be that maybe they want to rebrand the network with some new shows now as i said before and i'll say it again when you remove a show that has a time slot you have to replace that show with something else right so them canceling this show it must mean that they must have something else you know in mind that they want to create is it going to be with her we don't know another thing could be is that they want to push new talent they want to promote new talent they want to you know inject some new blood in there because if you're going to remove rachel nichols who's who's one of the cornerstones of that net network especially if we're talking about the nba aspect of it and nba content then we got to ask the question well who do they want to promote who do they want to give a show is it going to be kendrick perkins is it going to be Ke Keyshawn johnson i have we haven't seen much of jay williams in a while is he going to come back we don't know what's happening with that so you have that uh, sort of as a possibility out there or a question mark um, you have another question which could be an obvious one ultimately do they just want to move on from her altogether 
And maybe this is a preliminary before they ultimately make that decision and say, hey, listen, we want to move in a different direction, right? So maybe they're going to do it in stages. Maybe they just don't want to, you know, outright just let her go. And like, hey, Rachel Nichols has been removed from ESPN. So maybe they want to take a systematic approach and say, listen, first, we're going to move her from the shows then we're going to release a comment. And then ultimately, we're going to do subsequently some other decisions are going to be made coming down the line. We don't know that, right? We don't know that. So that could be a possibility or this could mean that, you know, she has another, she has a future at the network, right? Maybe they're going to give her another show. Maybe she's going to, you know, do another, have a, have another role. We don't know yet. I don't work at ESPN. So a lot of this is just uh, speculation based off of the information that I have to this particular uh, point. Now let's talk about Rachel Nichols, um, her, let's talk about her future and her resume. Rachel Nichols is not like, she didn't just start you know, broadcasting yesterday. And she has a tremendous amount of experience. She's been active since 1995. You're talking about a 20, what, 22, year, no, a 26 year run, 26 year, 26 years in sports media. And she has a very impressive resume. Listen, she's been on NBA, um, her notable credit, she's been on NBA on TNT unguarded with rachel nichols she's been on sports center she's been on monday night football she's been on monday night countdown sunday nfl countdown e60 the jump so listen this woman has a she she has a very 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 um you know um she has a very strong resume right and she has a lot of experience so it brings me to the next question um what could be her possible future i think rachel nichols with the resume like the one that she has, I think that she could either continue to work at ESPN, right? They could possibly give her another show because obviously she has the experience to be able to, you know, um, work on different shows. That could be a possibility or she could possibly move on to another network, right? She can go to another. She can probably go to ABC Sports. She could probably go to FS1. You never know, right? But she definitely have, she definitely does have the credentials to do show maybe she she'll create her own show no one knows but i definitely think that this is this this won't be the last time we see rachel nichols i definitely think she's going to be able to get um an, an, another gig coming down the road and i don't think it'll be very difficult for her to do so quite to be quite honest with you because if you think about it a lot of the people that are working right now in fs1 they used to work at espn think of chris broussard think of rob parker Think of Skip Bayless, right? Think a lot of, uh, I think Colin Cowherd also used to work at ESPN. A lot of these people, uh, even Doug Gottlieb, to an extent, used to work at ESPN and Shannon Sharp. So a lot of these people migrated from that network. So I wouldn't be surprised if, don't be surprised if you see Rachel Nichols at Fox Sports, FS1 down the road, right? I don't, I don't think this, I don't, th I don't think anyone should be surprised at this. But for now, it looks as if the that ESPN ultimately, you know, they may be moving in a different direction and no one knows what that direction will be. Um, I recently listened to some comments that Stephen A. Smith made. I believe it was on Hot 97 when they were asking him about this entire si the situation with him and Max Kellerman. And he said, listen, that was a decision by the network, right? That the network, the network decided on that. And uh, he said, if they want to retain Max Kellerman, it won't be his decision. If they, you know, if they decide, if they, dis if they ultimately decide to move on from him, it's not his decision. So, no one knows what's going to happen here, but ultimately it looks like it's ESPNs. Um, they, they're the one that they're the ones that have the final say, but we'll have to wait and see in the coming days and weeks what ultimately happens. I think Maria Taylor, she ended up moving on to, I think is NBC Sports, if I'm not mistaken. So we just have to wait and see. But this is the information that we have thus far. So what I want to know from you guys is what do you think about the decision of ESPN to, you know, essentially remove Rachel Nichols from all of her NBA show, all of their NBA programs. And what do you think happens next with her? Do you think that she gets another gig at the network or ultimately do you think that she moves on? Whatever you guys think, please leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. Again, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to make sure you go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to be notified whenever we drop our content. Once again, this is Charles here from Dreamers Pro wishing you guys an amazing and catch you guys on the next episode.